Hi, welcome to Yoga TV, Apna Television. My name is Mahela. I am a vinyasa and yin yoga teacher from Miami, Florida, and I'll be guiding you through today's flow. I invite you to find a comfortable seat on your mat, whatever that looks like for you today. And place your hands on your knees with your palms facing down. Gently close down your eyes. Allow your breath to gently slow down. Ground your sit bones down towards the mat. Find length in your spine. Relax your shoulders. Soften the muscles in your face and find a gentle smile. Give yourself a moment to come back from wherever it is that you've been in your day. And allow yourself to settle into this present moment where the only thing that exists is your body and your breath, nothing else. Allow your awareness to come inwards and begin to notice how with each inhale, your belly, your ribs, and your chest rise up. And with each exhale, your chest, your ribs, and your belly fall. Allow yourself to stay with this breath. Thinking to yourself, belly, ribs, chest, and then chest, ribs, belly. And bring your palms together to your heart center. I invite you to take a moment to set an intention for this practice. So perhaps this intention is to focus more on your breath, maybe to remain more present, but whatever it is, just allow this practice to be whatever you need it to be for you today. And when you're ready, gently open the eyes. Take an inhale and reach the arms up overhead, lengthen through the sides of your body, bring the palms together, and exhale, hands to the heart. Again, big inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale to heart center. One more time, big inhale, reach up. And exhale, release the hands down. Now take an inhale, reach the arms up. This time as you exhale, bring your right hand down by your side. Take a gentle bend in the elbow and reach that left arm over. Bring your gaze up towards your fingers. If it's in your practice, maybe you can reach this right elbow down. Trying to keep that left sit bone grounded. Maybe you close down the eyes. And keep your heart open towards the sky so you're finding a little bit of a back bend here through your upper body as you lengthen through the left side. Soft breath. On your inhale, let that left arm reach you up. Exhale your left hand back, right hand to your left knee. One more inhale to find length. On your exhale, begin to twist with your body. Look back towards that left shoulder. Just making sure that you're finding this twist here in your upper body and not only in your head and your neck. Inhaling in and exhaling out. On your next inhale, reach both arms up, palms together. Exhale, left hand down, right arm over. Again, maybe you bring that left elbow down, gazing up towards your fingers. And find that space in the right side body, that space in your rib cage and your intercostal muscles. 
breathe into that space. On your next inhale, let the right arm reach you up. Exhale, right hand back, left hand, right knee. One more, inhale to find length. And exhale to twist. Again, finding that twist in your upper body here. Gently massaging through your abdominal organs and working through your digestive system. On your next inhale, reach the arms up. This time, exhale, hands to your heart. Find tabletop on your hands and knees on your mat. Just finding these 90 degree angles here, placing the wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingers wide through the mat. Taking an inhale, drop your belly down, lift your gaze up. On the exhale, round through the spine, tuck the chin in towards your chest. Again, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. And exhale, round your spine. Imagine you're pushing the floor away, really exaggerate this movement. Inhale, belly down. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale, cow belly. Exhale, cat back. Find a neutral spine now. Tuck your toes under. Engage through your core, round through the shoulders. We'll lift the knees about two or three inches off of your mat. Try to keep your neck in line with your spine. We're gonna hold here. Keep your breath soft. Allowing your breath to be your music through this practice and allowing the music to guide your movement. On your next exhale, we'll lift with the hips and we're gonna find our first downward facing dog of this practice. Lifting your tailbone high, Long arms, shoulders away from your ears. Imagine that you're bringing the belly towards the thighs as you find the space in your shoulders. Now we're gonna inhale round the spine as you come forward into plank pose. And as you exhale, we're gonna drop the pelvis down, roll the shoulder back, and slightly Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Again, inhale, rounding. Exhale, pelvis down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Last time, inhale, round forward. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, plank. And exhale down dog. This time, inhale, come forward into plank pose. We'll bring the knees down. Now untuck your toes, keep your hips lifted, chest and chin down to the mat. Come all the way down. Now bring your feet just about mat width apart. Set your fingers on the outer edges of your mat. We're gonna take an inhale here. Rise up, Cobra. Exhale, forehead down. Again, inhale, rise. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale, rise up, Cobra. Exhale, release, come back down. Bring the feet back in. Bring your hands in by the ribs. On the inhale, we're gonna rise up full cobra, shoulders back, slightly lift your gaze. Exhale, tuck your toes, lead with your hips, downward facing dog. We're very slowly gonna make our way to the top of our mats, taking baby steps 
with straight legs if you can. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Bring your hands to your hips. And with a straight spine, we're gonna make our way all the way up to standing. On the inhale, reach your arms up. On the exhale, we're gonna slide the right hand down the right leg, reach the left arm over. Find that space. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm over. Inhale, reach both arms up, palms together. Let's take a little back bend, reach your pelvis forward, reach your heart high. Inhale up, exhale, come all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands either to the floor or to the shins. Reach the shoulders back, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Reach your right leg back, bring the knee down, and untuck your toes. Making sure this front knee is directly over the ankle, press down through your hips, reach your arms high, low lunge. We're gonna find an opened arm twist out to the right, reach that right hand back. Bring your gaze back towards your right fingers. You can stay here. Maybe you bring your right hand down the right leg and you reach that left arm over. Slowly inhale, reach both arms up. Take a little back bend, reach your heart up. From here, come back through center. Tuck your back toes under. On the exhale, we're gonna lift that back knee, roll your shoulders back, reach the arms back. Reach the arms up, crescent lunge. Finding a nice bend in your front knee and bringing your ribs in towards the spine to avoid back bending too much here. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, bring your back knee down, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus arms, back knee down. Inhale, rise. Exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Untuck your toes, inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, we're gonna bring our hands through to the heart, twist to the left, bringing this right hand on the outside of that left knee. Bring your heart towards your fingers. We can keep this back knee down or maybe tuck the toes, lift the knee up. Looking down to the mat, release your hands down, frame that front foot, and let's step it back, plank pose. Now you can bring your knees down like we did before, or keep your elbows close, and slowly make your way all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes. On the inhale, we'll find cobra, shoulders back. On the exhale, tuck your toes, lead with your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches up, three-legged dog. Lift that left heel high, on the exhale, left knee comes down. Untuck your toes. Now we're gonna bring that left foot to the outer left side of your mat. Stack your hips, reach your right arm high for a variation of half moon. Option to 
going to bend that right leg. Grab a hold of the outer arch of the foot. And kick foot into the hand as you press your pelvis forward. Reach your heart high. Release the foot. Release your right hand down. Left foot back to center. Tuck the toes. And again, come into that three-legged dog. From here, inhale, exhale, step the foot forward, spin your back heel down, reach the arms up, warrior two. There's a nice bend in your front knee here, and you wanna bring this right knee to the outer edge of your right foot so that you're opening up through your hips. Bring your tailbone in towards your spine, relax your shoulders. Flip the right palm up. As you inhale, slightly reach it forward. As you exhale, left hand down, front arm reaches over. Nice bend into that front knee. Imagine that someone is pulling through your right fingertips as you lengthen through the side of your body. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten that front leg. Inhale here. On the exhale, we're gonna reach forward with that right hand and gently place the right hand on the right leg. Reach your left arm up. Find trikonasana triangle pose. Stacking that left hip over the right. Stack that left shoulder over the right. Gaze up to your fingers. Looking down, bend into that knee, come back into warrior two. Now place your hands by your hips, straighten that front leg, and we're gonna bring the right toes to line up with the left so that the toes and heels are in one line. Bring the hands behind you, interlace your fingers. On the inhale, press your pelvis forward, reach your heart up, take a little back bend. On the exhale, we're gonna hinge forward and forward fold. Reaching the arms back. A soft and steady breath. Slowly release your hands down. We're gonna walk our hands back towards the front of the mat. Bring the right toes to face the front and lift that left heel up. Nice bend into your front knee. Bring your left hand down, and we're gonna reach your right arm up for a twist, gazing up to the fingers. And imagine here, someone is pulling you up through your right fingers instead of caving your weight down into that left hand. Now look down, release the right hand down, step it forward and exhale, forward fold. Hands to your hips, slowly rise back up. Now inhale, reach your arms up. We'll find those cactus arms again, take a little back bend, reach the heart up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Left leg back this time. Back knee down. Untuck your toes. Press down through your hips. Reach your arms up. This time we'll find that open arm twist again, reaching that left arm back. Keep reaching that left shoulder back. Find this twist in your upper body. Maybe you bring the left hand down the left leg and you reach your right arm over.
With control, reach both arms back up, palms together. Take an inhale, take a little back bend, reach your heart up. And slowly exhale, come back to center. Tuck your back toes, inhale. On the exhale, we'll lift that back knee, roll the arms back, roll your shoulders back, high lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, sit into your crescent lunge. Again, bending into that front knee, bring your ribs in towards your spine. Deep inhale. On the exhale, we'll bring that back knee down, cactus arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, knee down. Inhale. Exhale. Just two more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Inhale. And exhale. This time, untuck your toes. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms together. As you exhale, hands through to the heart. We'll twist to the right this time. Bring the left arm on the outside of that right leg. You can keep that back knee down. Or if you did so on the other side, tuck the toes, lift the knee up. Inhaling in, exhaling out. Now look down, release your hands to bring the foot, step it back, plank pose. Again, option for the knees down, or slowly come all the way down. As you inhale, rise up, cobra shoulders back. As you exhale, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Settle into your breath. Inhale, left leg reaches up, three-legged dog. Now lift that right heel. As you exhale, we'll drop that right knee down. Untuck your toes. Bring the right foot to the outer right edge of your mat. Stack that left hip over the right. Reach your left arm up. Half moon variation. Option to bend the left leg. Grab a hold of the outer arch of the foot and slowly begin to kick the foot into the hand as you press your pelvis forward and you reach your heart up. Release the grip. Look down. Release your left hand down. Right foot back to center. Tuck the right toes under. Three-legged dog, reach the left leg up on the inhale. On the exhale, we'll step the foot through to the hands. Spin the back heel down. Warrior two, rise up. Again, bending into that front knee and bringing that left knee to the outer edge of that left foot as you open up your hips. Now flip that left palm up. On the inhale, we'll slightly reach it forward. On the exhale, right hand down the right leg, left arm reaches over. Make sure that you're not losing that bend in that front knee and keep finding that length through the left side of your body. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Straightening that front leg. Inhale. On the exhale, we'll lead with that left hand. Left hand down, right arm reaches up. Triangle pose. Stack your hips, stack the shoulders, lift your gaze. Steady breath.
Now look down. Take a gentle bend in your front knee. We'll come back, warrior two. Hands to your hips. Straighten the front leg. And we'll bring the left toes to line up with your right. This time, keep your hands to your hips. We'll take an inhale, press your pelvis forward, reach your heart up. And on the exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Release the hands down. Now placing the left hand underneath your heart center. We'll take an inhale, reach the left arm up for a twist. Gazing up to the fingers. Look down, right hand comes down. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Looking down, release both hands down to the mat and then walk the hands top of the mat. Left toes face the front, lift that right heel up. Bend into your front knee, right hand down. Left arm reaches up for that twist. Again, reach up with your left fingers. Find that length. Look down to your mat. Release the left hand down and step it forward. Forward fold. On the inhale, hands to the hips, rise up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands through to your heart, close down your eyes. Slow down your breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. From here, let's bring our feet about hip width apart and we'll wrap our peace fingers, so the middle and index fingers around the big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, fold forward, reach your elbows out to the side, reach the crown of the head down. Bend the knees as much as you need to, to keep your upper body connected to your lower body. Slowly release. Begin to walk your feet about, mat width apart with your heels in and your toes out. Bend into the knees, we'll find a yogic squat, malasana. Bring your hands to your heart center. Using the elbows to open up through the hips. And then slowly let's release the hips down. And once again, come into that comfortable seat on your mat. Hands back to your heart. Close down your eyes. Take a moment of gratitude for making this time for your practice today. And I thank you for joining us on Apana Television. And take the time that you need before you get off of your mat. Maybe you take a short Shavasana. Maybe you just sit in meditation for a few. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.